What's going on guys? Back at it with another video. Today, I'm riding my bike because it's 50 degrees out and it feels good. But I think we're gonna go play one, two at RCG later today. I was gonna go to Rivers because I like their action on Sunday, but there was a 76 person wait list and I am not about that. I don't know what's going on there, but we're gonna get straight into the action. So please, I was looking at my last video. I got no comments as of right now. And there's like 500 views. So if you guys wanna leave some comments, let me know what you're thinking. If it's negative, positive, whatever. I just, I'm trying to make better videos and get better at the game. So let me know and let's get into the session. Just got to the venue. It's at Old Orchard Country Club today. So another sporting event area. It's at a golf course banquet. And I played here before. Did not go well. Last time I was here, Ace is in the top boat. I specifically remember that hand. That cost me about $800. But we're here, let's get into it. In this first hand of the night, I started filming because I knew these cards were gonna be money. And they are. We looked on an Ace King offsuit. One of the very first hands were dealt. It's folded around to the hijack, who's gonna open the action up to $15. When the cutoff calls, I don't think this is enough money in the middle yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump it on up. I make it $70. When the small blind and big blind get out of the way, it's folded back to that opener and he rips it in. So not the news we wanted to hear, but what are we gonna do? Ace King, 100 big blinds deep. We can't really be going anywhere. So we're gonna have and put the call in and we're up against aces. We run it twice. And we don't hit. So, first pull it is gone as our opponent covered us. So, on to the next one. Yeah. Now, on to buy in number two. We're involved right away a few minutes later. We pick up pocket tens in the cutoff. It's open to 17 from a middle position. I'm going to go ahead and bump it on up with a pocket pair and I make it 45 in position could be going 50 3x and some but we do 45 I think this is a good sizing because if he does jam I could get away but just kidding I'm never folding pocket 10s free flop to 50 60 70 75 ish big blinds but when it fold back around to him he's gonna go ahead and rip it all in for 130 total. And we're just gonna have to call here. We can't be folding. <laughs> Unless I have a sick read on him again. I'm gonna go ahead and make the call. And usually I don't ask to run it twice. It's really not a big pot. So we just go to one run out and gives us some hope. But we do not improve. And our opponent's gonna go ahead and take it down with pocket queens. Nice hand, sir. And on to the next hand. Right away, in middle position, a few hands later, I open to 15 and get called by the cutoff and the under the gun limper. So we're going three ways to a flop, and that's a nice one. Jack four deuce, we flop top pair, decent kicker, and there's a spade. For some backdoor opportunities. When under the gun checks, I'm gonna go ahead and check. And the cutoff does oblige with a bet of 35, a rather big bet. But I have top pair and about $70 remaining. After under the gun calls, I shove it all in. And when I hear the cutoff ask if we can reopen the action, I do not feel great. And I think my jack is no good. And when he calls, under the gun, size, and makes the call as well. So, not feeling great again. And now in the turn is the three of spades. Under the gun, open ship set. For, I don't even know, 115, 120, whatever. Cut off, folds, king jack, face up. So we were dominated by him. And sure enough, when the river comes to six of diamonds, we don't improve. And... He had 3-4 offsuit. Under the gun had 3-4 offsuit. Called the pre-flop bet and called the flop bet. 
and a flop raise and turn two pair. So nice hand by my opponent and we lose it again. Two bullets down the drain. <laughs> you can't do anything but laugh at those situations. I, I maybe I do get away with ace king versus aces. Like I don't that happened in the other video where I got destroyed. Ace king versus aces once again. Oh, okay. Cool. Tens versus queens. Even better. Oh, flop tar top pair with queen jack. Let me get it all in. I'm good here. Nope. King jack and the other guy turned two pair with three, four off. So, uh, you know, it just felt like that kind of day when I got <laughs> the first time I got stacked. So, minus 400, minus two buy ins. Whatever. Uh, I'll probably add this on to another session, so stay tuned for that other session. Second session of the video, we're back. Five days later, we're at the Hilton Hotel, RCG, buying it for 200 in the one two, and I decided to shave off that run bad haircut. You know, maybe that'll change things up. I'm hoping it will, and let's get into it. <laughs> First hand of the night that we're even dealt in. That's right. Aces under the gun. We're going to open the action up to $10. And someone at the table actually says, Broker, you got a haircut? You shaved off all your run bad? You must be pretty strong here. And everyone folds. So we take the first hand. The very next hand in the big blind. I checked my option here as you saw. We have 5-6 offsuit. And we see a flop. Do 6-6. Six, six. We flop trips, hidden trips at that, big blind special. We're going to check it, and action is going to check to that hijack player, or middle position player, who's going to make it 25. Two and a half X pot. That's right. We're starting things off hot, but I'm not going to fold flop trips, so I'm going to put the call in and proceed with caution. Everyone else folds, so it's heads up to the turn, which is the jack of hearts. Pretty innocent card, unless he has jack six, which some players could be limping with that hand. And when I check, he's going to keep betting to the tune of $50. <sighs> I'm thinking, oh, do I really have to title my video Folding Flop Trips? No, I'm not, because I'm going to make the call. I am putting him on a stronger six in this situation, and unless I improve on the river, I think I'm going to have to get away if he puts me on on the river, because... When he bets the flop and continues betting on the turn, this is never a bluff. So we're proceeding with caution, but run bad is gone. We bank the five of diamonds. We boat up, and I don't want those middling pocket pairs to check back nines, eights, sevens. So I ship it all in, and he snaps with twos. We cooler our opponent and get the max with the boat. On to the next hand. In this next hand, it's straddled from Mitch on the button. We open the action to 15, and only Mitch makes the call. We see a flop. 10-9 <laughs> jack. We flop the nuts. I'm going to go ahead and bet my hand. I bet 15. Mitch makes the call for 15. Turn is less than ideal, but we still have a straight king of hearts. I'm going to go ahead and value bet, and I actually give him some information because we're having fun. I flopped it. You flopped it? I only have a jack. I fold. We take it down after we tell Mitch that we have it, and he folds. So this is some fun banter. In this next hand, Mitch opens the 10. We have ace-queen offsuit in the cutoff. We're going to go ahead and bump it up, as $10 is not enough for our blood. And we make it 30. When it folds to Mitch, he's the only caller. And we see a flop. 10 9 8 Two spades. We don't have a spade. This hits him. We check after he checks. Turn. Nine of clubs. He checks. We check back. River. 
What do you think, Get? I play the board. I have it. I play the board. <laughs> I have it. Well, <laughs> Man, I can't get any action. Oh, you want action, Brendan? Oh, you're getting action. Button straddle from Mitch. Brad to my right is going to go ahead and limp. And we look down at ace, queen of clubs. We're going to bump it on up to 20. It's folded around to the to the hijack. He's going to cold call the 20. Cut off, gets out of the way. And now Mitch re-raises to 65. Brad's going to make the fold. And I debate 4-bet. Four 4-betting four with ace, queen suited. But I think better of it. I don't want to get 5-bet shoved if we're, as we're fairly deep. So I'm going to go ahead and put the call in. If we are behind ace king, I have some flush outs, straight draw outs, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and call. Now the hijack comes along as well with a call. So we're three ways to a flop. Not the best situation, but you know it is a great situation. When the board comes, a7-3, we flop top pair, decent kicker. We're going to play in flow and check to our opponents as they're going to have... Mitch, specifically, is actually going to have a lot of the ace -X combos. So when we check, the hijack checks, and Mitch checks back. Now, the turn is the seventh. Hoping one of my opponents is going to take the bait and bet on the turn, and they do. When I check, the hijack ships it all in for about 165 total. This kind of shocked me as I was expecting Mitch to go ahead and bet this turn. But Mitch reluctantly folds, and you can hear me say his hand out loud, and I pretty much snap call when it gets to me. Got a fucking love. I fold. You had kings? Of course. Call. What else could I fucking have there? Ace fucking mag. Here we go. Uh huh. I understand. You had kings? I had kings. Wow. Reveal the <laughs> wow. Once again, Mitch opens for 15. He's in under the gun. And I look down at Ace King suited. When Brad calls to my right in the middle position, I cannot have this many people in the hand. I'm going to bump it up and I make it 70 once again. When it's folded back around to Mitch, he's going to go ahead and make the call for 70. And Brad makes the fold. So we're going heads up. To a favorable flop, once again. <sighs> it's kind of getting exhausting at this point how well I'm running. 3-king-8, we flop top-top. When Mitch checks, I'm going to down bet. <laughs> and I actually say to him, I say I feel bad. Because I know he has a lower pocket pair, and when I bet, he folds jacks face up. Good fold, Mitch. And we're going to go ahead and take this pot down. In this next time, we have 7-10 of hearts. We decided to limp in middle position, and we see a flop of 9-10 jack. Action's going to check around with the six players, and we see a turn, which is the six of clubs. So we still have our pair of tens, and when the hijack decides to bet 10, folds to us. We're going to call. We have a pair and that gutter to that eight, hoping to bank the eight, and we don't. The river ace of hearts. We checked our opponent, and he bets 25, and he says he flopped the straight, so nice hand, man, and we actually lose a pot this hand, or this session, so don't worry. In this next hand, we looked on a king-queen offsuit in the big blind. It's open from under the gun one across the table, because we had some players leave, to $10. Mitch calls, Brad in the small blind calls, and we see a flop. Queen deuce three, we flop top pair, decent kicker. When Brad checks, I'm going to play in flow. And check to the aggressor who c bets 15. Mitch gets out of the way. Brad folds. And we're going to go ahead and make the call with our top pair. Going to proceed with caution as he did c bet into three opponents. But we have top pair. Can't be going anywhere yet. Turn. Three of diamonds. We now have two pair. Three shouldn't really change much. When I check, he checks back. Deuce of hearts on the river. Now I'm thinking he's a, has middling pocket pairs or even an ace x type hand. I want to get paid by an ace high hand or those middling pocket pairs. And he debates for a little bit before ultimately releasing. So we take it down with that queen. Let's go. Straddled pot from Mitch on the button. I looked down at ace king suited in under the gun one. Small blind, big blind, both limp. And I'm going to bump it to 25. And listen in. 25. Ace of diamonds. 
After I raised to 25, I decided to play along with Mitch's game and tell him a card. Well, he doesn't call. It falls around back to Brad in the big blind, and he makes a call for 25. So we go heads up to a flop, and that's a nice looking flop. Jack, queen, queen, two diamonds. We flop the royal flush draw, and my opponent should be putting me on ace x of diamonds or aces with the ace of diamonds because I shouldn't really be three betting ace queen offsuit. I could be. I could have a lot of ace x combos, but when Brad decides to lead out for 17 on this board, I'm going to just try to hit my flush or royal, and I call. Turn, jack of clubs, and when he leads for 25 on this turn, I'm sensing he's pretty strong. I'm putting him on a jack or a queen, and I'm hoping to hit that one card on the river. I got to call and see the river for 25. Eight of diamonds. We break the royal. That hurts. That could have been our first one and first one on the vlog. He checks. I check back. And he shows jack 10. So nice hand, Brad. With the boat. He takes it down. Just got done with that session. In for two, out for 7.72. Nice little profit tonight on a Friday night. Picked up some premiums and it ran well. You guys saw. Uh, I think we could have won more if we didn't run into Brad's top full house with our royal draw, but we'll take it after last week on Sunday when we lost four. So we'll take the win. Can't complain. And let me know about some spots. Could have played differently. Could have four bet with that ace queen. But I didn't want to get five bet jammed. As I would have as they had queens and kings. But we'll take the win tonight. And at the beginning of the video, I know you, saw you, guys, you guys saw me get killed. But we won some back. So let's get it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop some comments. Let me know what you think. Or want to give me some feedback. Please. Would be appreciated. Thanks, guys. Catch you. Peace.